we're having multiple types of caffeine in the studio. Stumptown Coffee is here to tell us about two new drinks they're serving up. So we have Brent, you're the head brewer of the cold brew. But first we're gonna talk about this beautiful cocktail. That's It's like a cocktail, but it will caffeinate you? Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, our hopped cascara soda, and it's actually hot brewed. Um, Whoa. So we brew uh, cascara, which is like the fruit that surrounds the coffee bean. That's uh, what the cascara is? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Uh, so that's actually this here. Uh, what? We brought some samples. So that's what's around the coffee bean, and then they like yeah, so take out the coffee, make coffee, and then they make this? Yeah, so coffee's a cherry, right? Um, and inside are two seeds, and that's actually like the coffee bean that we brew coffee with. Wow. Um, but the outside is, is this cherry, so we brew that, um, lightly sweeten it, and then balance that sweetness with hops that you would typically see in beer. So yeah, normally you think of hops as going in beer if you have like an IPA that's super right. hoppy, but this does not contain alcohol? No, right. Okay, so you, if you like want to taste the taste of beer, but you don't want to you know, get your drink on. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of totally beer-like. Cascara like, has a lot of like date and some inherent sweetness. Wow. Um, and then, yeah, the hops balance that out. Uh, and yeah, tastes kind of close to beer. So what goes all into this? Uh, so yeah, that's um, brewed cascara, uh, brewed hops. Uh, it's carbonated and lightly sweetened. And then we dash a little bit of grenadine in here. Uh, what? Oh, fancy. Yeah. Can I taste yeah, it? Yeah, totally. Let's it looks it. so cool. It looks magical. Yeah. It's like very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yum. Delicious. And it looks very springy. Yeah. That's wonderful. Now you also, because we got to talk coffee, of yeah. course. Oh, so there's the new seasonal beverage. When can people have this, by the way, until? Uh, this is until June. June. Okay. So just In all of our cafes. Yep. Nice. So yes, you also have the new nitro yeah. here, right? Oh, I like, I'm hearing like bubbling noises in my ear. Oh my gosh, is something magical happening in the studio? Uh, there's a wizard. Is Tim the wizard? Is that your correct wizard magical name? What is happening to this cold brew coffee? I have found, oh, you must put it down first. What? What is going on? Oh my gosh, the magical beauty. Is this a magical coffee? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this is our uh, nitro hairbender. Uh, so we have nitro uh, coffee um, in a can already, but this is a new spin on that using our hairbender espresso blend. Um, so it has three components, an Indonesian component um, that offers like structure and body, a Latin American component that offers chocolate sweetness, uh, and then a African component that like bounces all out with acidity, like a citrusy acidity. Um, but so then we dissolve nitrogen into it, and so that's what. Because you do, you know, you yeah. just dissolve some nitrogen. And that adds like a lot of body and weight and creaminess okay. to it. And so that's I've cut open a can here. So this is the widget inside that. Oh whoa! Kind that's of, actually in at the bottom of the can. Yeah. So this is the bottom of every single can. And so what we do is fill the can with uh, cold brew, dose it with liquid nitrogen, um, cap it and seam it and flip it. And so now you have a uh, headspace uh, exposing this. Uh, pinhole at the bottom of the widget. Oh. The liquid nitrogen is changing phase into gaseous nitrogen and expanding and filling that chamber. Uh, and once that's fully done... Exactly. <laughs> I swear I'm <laughs> listening to you, Brent, but there's a wizard and a crow? What? It's Billy the crow. And look at his like magical like silver finger or something. What is going on with Tim the wizard? Did he have a hand in making this? Yes. I I'll saw that. That's how you guys yep. launched. You had this like super amazing video made by Tim the Wizard yep. to show all the magic going into this. And so, yeah. okay, you just open the top. So, I need yeah, some caffeine. So we kind of oh, like tilt it twice to like kind of oh. invigorate the nitro and then mm -hmm. you rip it open hard Whoa. Uh, and then pour. Ooh. And so what you're going to see is black coffee coming out, but nitrogen Oh my gosh, it is, smells like yeah, coffee immediately. It's dissolved into the solution oh. and it's going to cascade. Rip it open. What? Like a Guinness. Oh, oh, yeah. Again, you're just making things yeah, that like look like beer and taste like beer, but you just get the feeling of it while you get caffeinated. Mmm. Whoa. Yes, my hair immediately bent. Oh my goodness. How much ca is this like super, super caffeinated? Uh, yeah, it's about four cups of coffee. What? In, in a can. Well, yeah. good. This is the <laughs> beginning of the show, and we have a lot more to get through. Thank you, Brent. Thank yeah, you, of course. Tim Thank the you Wizard. For appearing in the studio. Can you just be Thank here every you. night? This is so cool. We need some magic. Now, 